Hey guys, today I got my hands on the new Xiaomi Mix, which is designed as a concept phone with a high resolution 70 to 9 display and a display of body ratio to 91% and a full ceramic body. The first time you touch it, it feels like a very precious and valuable thing. Nothing is cheap on it. No sharp edges, no gap, no shaky buttons. It doesn't bend. And even hard pressure doesn't show any reaction on the display. It feels like you have just a very valuable and stable display in your hands. The one of the first things you notice is the front camera at the bottom. You see it right, right here. Because if you look uh, on it from above, it's hard to tell which side is the upper one because normally the, the front cam is just, just uh, on the top. The body is made of full out of ceramic and they used no glue to, to uh, combine it. And the display here is fitting just right in. It's really nice, 6.4 inches display. It's hi really huge for, for this size. It has a ratio of 17 to 9, which seems in the beginning kind of strange. But if you take a closer look on the bottom, you have your on-screen button. So actually you have a 16 to 9 ratio, which is perfect. One of the other highlights is the ultrasonic proximity sensor, which is in the display and here is here's no proximity sensor and no uh, earpiece due to the cantilever peer to electronic ceramic acoustic technology. Well, uh, that basically means it uses the ceramic hull as a resonance body to produce the sound, so we have no, no speakers here. Due to the impressive hardware, which includes the fastest Snapdragon 821, at least 4 GB of RAM and 128 gigs of ROM, the navigation through the Android system goes very very fast and, and smooth without any interruption. So you see it, it's like, yeah, basically there's no interruption and I started a benchmark test on Tutu. So you can see uh, the ranking is about almost 120,000 points, which is quite impressive. Gaming should be no problem at all. As you can see here, the operating system of the mix is a modified Android 6 version, which is called MIUI 8. It's very, very stable, very fast, and very, very intuitive. So you can just do whatever you do without, or almost without thinking about it. It has everything you need. And it's stable. It's really, really, really cool. And also, the camera is really, really nice. You can do some very, very nice pictures of it. It goes quite fast without any interruption. And if you want to do a video, you can switch to uh, time lapse or slow motion. And time lapse is quite funny. Yeah. On the other hand, you don't have any possibility to enlarge your memory, you have a non-removable battery and you have no LTE Band 20 which is very very crucial to the use in uh, European and especially Germany because out, without it you won't have any LTE connection out of the big cities. Maybe there will be an international version which is fixing this disadvantage. Furthermore, I really really fear to drop it because on the one hand it seems so so valuable, on the other hand uh, the display is so huge and I don't want to break it. So uh, I'm not sure if this device could survive a drop of one or one and a half meters. So just be sure that you get a uh, nice and very safe cover with it. 
So Xiaomi had the guts to do what no one else could. Make a step into the future of smartphones. It's well designed and innovative body, the new sensors and as much as display as you can get on this size shows Apple, Samsung and friends that there's still innovative potential in a highly contested smartphone market.